In this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, session attributes uh, in Spring MVC Ray. I'm gonna create another controller called uh, session attribute, uh, session scope attribute. Okay. Scope attribute controller. And the first thing I'm gonna do is annotate with the controller. And uh, then I go to the end, I create a method called uh, public string uh, set session attribute. How about that? Okay, I'm, ha I'm gonna have a model here. Okay, and uh, here I will using a uh, get mapping. Okay. Uh, let me add another request mapping here so there is no conflict on the URL. So slash session, okay. And here I'm gonna use in the slash. Let me import the model. Uh, this one. Suppose I add a model dot add attribute. The key is a channel ch channel name, okay. Is xing. As we know, this one gonna be what? This one gonna be in the request scope. So if you want to make this one to be in session scope, how to do that? In Spring MVC, what you can do is there is an annotation called the session attributes. And what you do is this is the key. Okay, you put this key inside this uh, session attributes. And uh, when Spring process for this attribute, he will check if this channel name is declared in this annotation. And uh, if it's declared in this annotation, he will make it into a uh, session attribute in session attribute instead of uh, a request attribute. Got it? This name has to match, the key has to match. Okay, and now let me show. Suppose here we redirect to a display URL. And here I'm gonna, uh, let me use a session display, okay? Session display. And here I have another method uh, called the display. And then I have a return called session scope scope attribute JSP, okay? And here I'm gonna add another one called the get mapping, which is the display. Uh, here show you one more thing because here I add a request mapping on top of the controller. So when you want to redirect to this URL, you have to use in session display. If it, if you only wrote display, it won't work. Okay. And now let me create the session attribute uh, JSP. Session attribute JSP session attribute JSP and in order to uh, I just want to make sure this one is gonna be displayed also available in this JSP even though we're using redirect okay I just add a statement paragraph called China name. Okay. Channel name. When using model, by default, it's gonna be in the request scope. But since you add a session attribute, the key they match, then Spring gonna move this attribute into the session scope. So even though you're using redirect because it's in the session scope, then you can still see miss x i n g inside the session scope attribute gsp page okay let me redeploy it 
it is successful. I think it deployed it successful. And now let me switch to Chrome. And uh, I have to make a call to session, SCSS session slash, right? You can see the URL changed to session display, but you can still access that channel name attribute because now it's in the session scope. Let's go back to uh, talk about uh, more about the session, okay? We have more. Next one. Next one is uh, you can still using HTTP session. Okay. And then you can using session dot set attribute, which this one is, uh, let's call author name, okay? Uh, regions in, let's use in Tina XING, how about that? And uh, eventually, when you using session attribute, Spring gonna using HTTP session to set attribute, but uh, there's a slightly difference between them. When using HTTP session set attribute, it will set this attribute into session immediately. But when using session attribute, the annotation to set, uh, to set the session attribute, it's only, it will add this attribute into the session just before the page rendering. Let me show you the demo, okay? Let me show you. Okay, so now, I have a session dot set attribute. So here, this is uh, I set using Spring Array session attribute and uh, session attribute. Again, this statement runs before this statement, right? And they have exactly the same key. So if we don't know how Spring does, probably we will think, thank you, we are override the miss XING. But the case is not the what I talk about, let me run. You will still see Miss ING, uh, Miss XING, not thank you. Okay, deploy successfully. Switch to a uh, browser. And I'm gonna make a call to session slash. Okay you still see Miss ING instead of thank you. What's the problem? What's the problem? Even though this one is set before, uh, this one is kind of like an override, it's not. The problem is when you using, when you using HTTP session to set session attributes to add, session attributes attribute okay it uh, will add immediate immediately but when you using annotation session session attribute this annotation to set to add attribute it uh, will add just before the page rendering okay just before the page rendering so what that mean is this one will add first into the session for now this model after you done this one this is still in the request scope and then this one put the channel name thank you into the session scope and now you redirect and before you rendering this page okay Oh, before you redirect, okay, which means before, not the page rendering, sometimes can be before, uh, before what, before, 
before the re response. Hmm, I should not say that. Um, before the current request ends. Okay, when you redirect your current request gonna be ends, right? It will add into the session scope. So this one will add immediately and just before the current uh, request ends. Oh, you see, okay, this channel name, I have to move it into the session scope. So this one is not overriding this one. Instead, Miss XING gonna re-override. Thank you. Got it? I hope you get the idea. If you still don't understand, you can comment below. I prop I can uh, explain to you again. Uh, this is the session attributes, and uh, I have to tell you another thing. Suppose if you want to make the session attribute to be invalidated, which means if you want to remove particular session attribute, how would you do? If you are using HTTP session, what you can do is using session dot invalidate. It's gonna remove all the session attributes for current uh, user, okay? And if you want to remove particular one, let me check if we have something called the remove attribute. And you can remove like uh, author name. Then this attribute is gonna be removed from the session scope. And how to do that inside the Spring MVC, which is uh, how to do that? You using session status, okay? And uh, using status. And what's gonna do is in this here, you add a status dot set complete. And what does this one do? First, session dot status. Okay, status. Oh, uh, sorry. Status dot set complete can. Um, uh, not that can. Only remove. Okay, only remove attribute. Set by using annotation session attribute. Because session status is API in Spring, okay, MVC, it cannot remove session attribute if you directly using HTTP session to set. Which means, in this case, when you in status dot set complete, it will only remove session attribute channel name, but it cannot remove author name. Because author name, you are using HTTP session to set. You are not using session attributes to set. Got it? Next one. Suppose here I add another model add attribute. Let's say hello. And here is ABC word, okay? And I put this hello here. And when using status data set complete, it will remove all the attribute you set in the session scope using session attributes. Not only channel name, not only hello, it will remove all of them. Okay, this is the one. Second note, a second note for status data set complete. It when does Spring remove the attribute from session scope? It remove attributes from session scope after the page rendering. Which means after this session scope attribute is ran, uh, JSP, sorry. After this session scope attribute JSP is rendered, then Spring gonna remove channel name hello from session scope. So the first time you visit session scope attribute, you will see Miss XING and the word. But if you refresh the page, then it's gone because it's removed. Let me show you the behavior, okay? 
So first I'm gonna go back go to the GSP page and show you the hello. So here P. Uh, hello and here I using the hello and now I will also do this one okay author name author name author name says data starter set complete cannot remove this one okay it can only remove you add this one so no matter how many times times you uh, refresh you can always see this value but for both of for this value and this value only the first time and after refresh it's gonna go okay. let me uh, redeploy Okay, and uh, I have to switch to browser. Now I'm gonna make a request to session slash. This is my first time to visit current page. Okay, you will see Miss XING is set using session attributes annotation. Okay, word is also, and this author name is using HTTP session. Now let me refresh the page. You can see channel and hello is gone. And the author name is still there because session status dot set complete can only remove those attributes you set using session attribute annotation. It cannot remove the attribute from session scope if you using HTTP session to set. And it remove those attributes after the page rendering. So if it's the first time, okay, this is my first time with the page, you can see them, but after you refresh, it's gone. So uh, this is the behavior, most, like, most of the features about the session attributes and it can be uh, session attributes can be get very confused when you actually um, have a multiple controllers but the session uh, session attributes that annotation is designed to only set session attribute for current controller it's not recommended you to use if you want to share some session attributes across multiple controllers you have to using another way to do that and uh, i'm gonna introduce in the future lecture for you okay thank you for watching hope you understand the session attributes now and uh, if you still have doubts you can uh, leave a comment and if you like this video please click like and i will be really appreciate if you share or subscribe my channel thank you see you next time